What is up, everyone? This is Seth with the Landing Page Dudes, and I hope you're having an absolutely incredible weekend. Today, I am back with another case study. We have helped a Shopify brand go from boring to exciting, and I'm gonna show you how it works. But before that, I just wanna give my two cents on the current e-commerce space. Right now, the e-com space is a battlefield. Every single second, a new entrepreneur is opening up a Shopify store in your vertical. They're investing into better images, into a better template, and they are gunning for your customers. That's why you're seeing higher CPMs and lower conversion rates. And for a lot of brands that think they're untouchable, they are mistaken. If I had a dollar for every single brand that has come to us and has said, dude, we were getting such good conversion rates last year, but all of a sudden things are out of whack. Our CPMs on ads are higher and our conversion rates are lower. Do you know what's going on? And the reason being is brands, seasoned brands, rely too heavily on the loyal customer database. They want to do things traditionally instead of being innovative. And with that, you become lost to the competition. So that leads me to the current case study with MP Pharmaceuticals. They approached us because they wanted to revamp the website, increase their conversion rate, but most importantly, build a brand that looks premium. Because as you know, it leads to a higher conversion rate. There are so many different variables that are gonna help you climb up in terms of conversion rates. Of course, it begins at the ad copy, but ultimately it's on the website. Is it mobile first? Is everything organized? You have a good navigation? Are the images clear? Do you have user generated content? Are there enough reviews? Is everything above fold? And the list goes down. So with that said, I'm gonna be showing you the before and after. And what you're looking at right now is the current website. Now, it's old school. It kind of looks like a WordPress template. Uh, you know, all the stock images and the empty space. It doesn't look like a website uh, that will sell well, if that makes sense. Everything is just jumbled. Nothing is organized. And you could see that the most important section, which is the first fold, is out of whack. Starting in the announcement bar, and then the images that don't uh, resize properly to mobile, you can see that the text is cut off. And as you scroll down, again, it's just a very old school template. It's missing a lot of important conversion elements, and that's why they came to us. Now, after looking at the home page, we'll look at the product page. So looking at the product page, this is probably the worst part of it because this is where the customer takes action. I've always said that there's three important pages on the website, the home page, the product page, and the collection page. That's usually where your ads are being redirected and it's important that they're optimized. And when you visit this page, you could tell right off the bat that there's a lot missing here. First and foremost, it just looks empty. It looks blank. It looks like a free Shopify template. There's it, it just is not nice to the eye. And when you look at it on mobile, it just looks untrustworthy. And again, there's a lot of mistakes here. We have to think about the real estate above the fold. It's the most important. It's not about how much you could tuck in above the fold. It's the hierarchy. There's no reason why there should be a double uh, line here on, on the announcement bar. Here you can see the hamburger links take up about like, you know, 10%. The images just look absolutely boring. And as you scroll down, it just looks like, you know, another Shopify template. There's no brand presence. And for someone like me, I mean, I don't buy this stuff, but for someone like me, if I was to visit this website to buy my wife a gift, I just wouldn't trust it. So let's begin. Before we begin on anything, we always create what is, which is called a page map. Now you're probably familiar with the site map, but because we usually work on pages, we create a page map. And the idea here is before we begin on the wireframe, we want to make sure that we have the sections we want. And we give this we give this to the customer, they provide us with their feedback, and ultimately once this is completed and agreed on, we then begin on the wireframe. So you can see here we have the announcement bar, we have the smart menu, the hero, the trust badges, the best selling products, the animated text, the category grid, and so forth. Now the first thing we wanted to do with the wireframe is we wanted to make the website visual. We wanted it to be beautiful and we wanted to have multiple featured sections. 
we wanted to have a section at the top that was on a carousel. Below, we wanted to feature two products. Sometimes it could be the best selling products, it could be a new product, but we wanted to have real estate for two products. Underneath, we wanted to have a mission statement. This is super important. When people visit your website, they wanna see this. They wanna understand what is it that sets you apart. What are you about? It's not just about you know, sell, 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 as you can see on their homepage. It's just literally selling products. There are no reviews. There's no anything a human can relate to. It, it, it doesn't elicit your emotions, but with a powerful mission statement, you definitely can. After that, the idea here was to create different grids uh, and sell by different purposes. You could shop by category, you could shop by new products, you could shop on uh, sales, and then here we have the reviews, the FAQ, and just like everything else, whenever we do work on it, we're always in mobile first. So you can see the mobile here as well. Everything is stacked, it's beautiful, it's clean, and it's crisp, and we'll show you what this looks like right now. This is the design. We wanted to use light colors, you know, kind of a pastel palette, uh, something that would attract women. We wanted to make sure the products were, you know, the focal point here. And of course, we wanted to keep it simple. We didn't want to really overwhelm. So here you can see what the design looks like on both the left and the right hand side. And as we jump into Shopify, you can see what that looks like as well. Now I'm using a 27 inch Mac, so this white space on the left and the right will, will not be there, just because I'm using such a big monitor. But you can see how absolutely beautiful everything looks. And it's in Greek. But this is the mission statement. Now, I wanna show you some cool things. Let's jump on mobile. So on mobile, when you land, look how absolutely beautiful that is. Let's look at the comparison on mobile. So this is what their current website looks like. And this is what we bring to the table. We have the social proof, we have the slider, we have a high quality visual right at the top. And you can see how compressed everything is. We have the uh, animated text marquee with the menu. We're not wasting any real estate. And as you go down, we're using these cool grids and when you hover over, you see the call to action. Below, we have the organized trust badges about the shipping, the returns, the gift service, and the phone number. Here in Europe, a lot of direct-to-consumer brands advertise a phone number because a lot of people want to call and ask questions. And then below, we have that mission statement that you saw on desktop. After that, we have this slider that shows all the different products, the animated text marquee. We have a countdown timer on all their different sales just to build uh, you know, urgency. And then here we're focusing on scarcity. So the idea here is we're showing products that are just about to run out of stock. And this is all dynamic. So let me show you how it works. It's actually really cool. Let me just make sure. Okay, so marquee. So, so if you see here, we're showing that 650 are sold and only 20 are, are available. But I could always change it if I wanted to show like 350 that bar will automatically progress. And that's how we're building scarcity. We're showing that hurry up, things are selling, get it quickly. And all of this is done through the CMS. It's really cool. Um, if you are looking for something like this, hit us up and it'll definitely help increase conversion rates. Then we have another new products, offers, reviews, and FAQ. Now, as we jump to the product page, the idea here is we want it to be visual. We want it to be very, 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 very visual. 
we, we wanted to have a countdown timer and we wanted to have an area where we could show concerns and benefits. So usually when you're buying these type of products, they're, they're serving a purpose. Maybe you have dark uh, circles under your eyes or you have dark blemishes on your skin. So the idea here is we wanted to have the concerns and benefits. And then underneath, we wanted to have an upsell of a complimentary product. And the good thing about this is a lot of you that are using Shopify are using an app for this. But what we do is we use the native Shopify search and discovery app. And I'll show you how that works. It's really, really cool. And it allows you to upsell products uh, without having to pay monthly. And they also provide you with the analytics so you understand how well it's working. Underneath, we have the customer reviews, the FAQs, the trust badges, and then recommended for you. Now, we did change things up in development, which you'll see but I'll show you the design before everything else. Awesome, so let me show you what that looks like now. Give me a second here. Okay, so check this out. They only have one image, but we will be adding more. And as soon as we do add images, it'll automatically build out that grid. The one thing we introduce to the client is the subscribe and save. Here in Greece, for some reason, they're a little bit behind on these e-commerce gimmicks. And not many brands, especially in the cosmetic and supplement brands, offer this. So we're introducing this to the client. It's a better way to increase the lifetime value of the customer. And they're going to be one of the first that we know of in Athens that sells, a cosmo that sells cosmetics that will be offering a one-time purchase or a subscribe and save. Next, we have the countdown timer. And this is to show that, look, this is a deal. It's a limited time. Here's the sale, hurry up and buy it. Underneath, we have the concerns. And again, this is just a test page, but we have the concern and the benefits and everything is edible through the product meta field, which I'll show you after. Underneath that, we have the upsell. And this is managed through the Shopify native search and discovery app. Then we have the FAQ. We have the important trust badges followed by the actual global FAQ and the products recommended for you. Now the customer will be generating user draining content. And when they do, we're going to be putting it right underneath here and above the reviews. I'll show you how everything is managed here. So if we go to products, we're using meta fields. So here you see the complimentary product, right? The AA wings. That's how you change the upsell. You could add as many as you want. And the way you do that is you go to your apps. Hold on, I think Shopify is being a bit weird is you go through your apps, you go to search and discovery, you let that bad boy load, you go to recommendations, and then you see here that product that we were just on, you can add complimentary products. So I can browse through any other product that I want, and let's just say I wanna add these two. I'm gonna click on save. And then you can see how quickly they are added. And again, no app done only through Shopify search and discovery, which is free. And now I'll show you, let me just remove that. I'll show you how things look on mobile. So here on mobile, we have the animated text marquee. We have the title. You can see the zoom in functionality, which is very important. We have the price with the sale badge, the one time, the subscribe and save, the countdown timer. And then above the call to action, we're showing the benefits and the concerns. Then we have the upsell followed by the FAQ. Everything is tight. Everything looks amazing. And we're really happy how this turned out. If you have any questions about this project, please feel free to ask in the comments or send us an email. I thank you for taking the time and watching this video. And we are very, very, very lucky to have such great supporters. So have a great Sunday. Hopefully Monday is awesome for you. And I will be back again with another video on a custom bundle builder. Have a great day.